before I go any further in this video, I will let you know that all of this behind the scenes is from my short film, How to Say Goodbye. And you can now watch this short film in full for free right now on my second channel, Sean Tracy Film, or at the link at the top of the description. I really recommend that you head over there, you check it out, you maybe leave a like and a comment if you're feeling really kind. Uh, and then you can come back here and, and, and check it out, check out the behind the scenes and see how we all put it together. But I really recommend that you check out How to Say Goodbye first. With that being said, let's get into the behind the scenes. Quick summary of Prodigy Camp, it is a camp for roughly 25 filmmakers and musicians from all around the world that takes place in Seattle, Washington every summer. Prodigy Camp is for new campers and uh, production camp is just for alumni. Knowing that I was going to this camp, I knew I had to shoot a short film that could be shot in three hours, that could only be three pages long as well, and that can only have three characters in it. Those are the parameters within which you have to work. Now, I also had the advantage of having been to the camp before. I, I knew the kind of locations you know, that I could be working with, the kind of setups that I could be working with. The story, the, the location I should say lended itself to a story based around kind of a family holiday home. That was the setup that was in my head. And for some reason, the emotion of saying goodbye to a really special place felt relevant. Basically, I, I ended up creating this story between two characters where both of them are not going to be able to return to this holiday home that they've both been coming to for all of their lives. But they were both going to say goodbye in different ways. And that conflict was going to be, you know, the interesting part of the story. One of the characters would say goodbye to this place maturely with, you know, appreciation of what he's been able to enjoy in it. And the other one would not be able to say goodbye properly through, through fear um, and, and thus through ignoring the pain of, of having to say goodbye properly. So that's the why behind how to say goodbye. The how, as always, a little bit more complicated. First, obviously, I wrote the script based on, you know, that why that I've just described. I wrote it in May, and at the beginning of June, I was I was thinking, oh, I'm not 100% sure this story is, is gonna work. I, I need to test it, and so that's exactly what I did. I created the whole short film twice for How To Say Goodbye. Once at my home here in Wicklow in Ireland, and the second time was the actual shoot out in Seattle. I was working off the, you know, probably one of the early drafts of the script. I can't remember which one exactly. Um, I had my two friends come along. We shot it within two days at my house. Finishing those two days of filming and cutting together the film uh, and seeing it on screen and, and trying to make sure the story was coming through clearly, it was really valuable because when I showed the short film to people, there were some wild interpretations of what was going on. Like audience members that I showed it to, my parents, my friends, they thought characters were going to do things or did things that never were even in my head. I, I, I went back and I wrote the script and made things a lot, lot clearer, um, which is fantastic because then when I went to Seattle and we did the actual shoot, the script was in a much, much sharper place. And it was in a place where, you know, there was no room for misinterpretation while still trying to keep it authentic, you know, feeling realistic, real, um, and true to the meaning that I had originally come up with as well. So then two months later, I'm at Prodigy Camp in Seattle and we have three hours to shoot the film. I do look back at those three hours of filming at you know, with mixed reviews. I had done this before. I had shot a film in three hours before at the camp, only at the camp that I'd done that. I really needed to be more strict than I was because there were creative ideas popping onto the set that were definitely slowing us down. You kind of want to leave space on a set for people to generate their creative ideas, of course. That's, that's really important, but we had three hours to film. And unfortunately, you do need to lose some of that liberated creativity and you need to be more pragmatic. Shoot everything you need to do in those three hours. Although otherwise your film literally will not get completed. And that's a good thing to note for future, for future reference in my career. You know, knowing that this is something I need to be pushing myself with, you know, it's clearly something I need to work on as a director. Unfortunately, I do say we had three hours to shoot this film because that's what we did have, but we did need to shoot an extra hour the next day, which is a huge amount of time at this camp because those indoor shots took us three hours, which they absolutely should not have done. You know, the final product doesn't get affected by that, but 
people's time did and and like the kind of question of you know the value of art and what you're willing to sacrifice for it etc etc um i was of course willing to sacrifice everything for this but at the cab everyone's making films when i'm sacrificing my time for that hour that's fine but when the actor david you know when he has to sacrifice his hour he's also sacrificing contributing to someone else's set another thing that did affect the final product, which I really could not have known. I, I'm already, you know, I'm already a much more experienced actor, which sounds ridiculous, but I am a much more experienced actor than I was at that time. When, when we were filming that shot of, of me looking at my phone, uh, my character looking at my phone, Christopher, my character, you know, we, we had finished filming, we'd left the shot to last very, very intentionally. Andy, the DP, he ushered people out of the room and he said to me, look, do not leave this room until you are satisfied with this shot. And I think I should have gone one step further and said to them, we're wrapped. Because what actually ended up happening was I stayed inside the room filming this scene with the camera just set up. While I was doing that, the crew were waiting outside. You know, having a bit of a production hat on, my brain, while we were filming, was going, God, they're all waiting outside. And I know that's something that's probably not really professional enough. And so it's absolutely, you know, something I need to work on as well as from an acting point of view. I did the best I could with the knowledge that I had at the time. Um, and, and that's kind of the wonder of making films, isn't it? You're always learning. You're never going to stop. And that's a wonderful mindset to have. And, and I know, you know, having had this experience now, I, I know there's a, there's a long way to go for me as an actor. And that's fine. That's a good thing. It's complete. It's complete now. It's out with the world. I've entered it into film festivals. Um, I think it's got rejected by one, sadly, already. But there's a lot more to come. Notification dates. So hopefully there's a couple official selections down the line. Fingers crossed. Uh, and hopefully people enjoy the film. And hopefully it means something to people. Because... Uh, a really nice moment throughout all of this that I can look back on is the DP himself, Andy, um, being able to apply the story to his personal life in a really wonderful way. Even just thinking about the story caused him to, to reflect on a couple of those personal elements of his life. That's the kind of power of film that you, you totally forget when making it. When you're making it, it's often for the fun, it's for wanting to challenge yourself, etc., etc. But you often forget about the actual profound impact it can have on a viewer and you obviously should never assume that you're going to be able to have that capa that, that impact uh, and so I, I won't assume that anyone else will be able to click with it but i really hope that it people do because it's a very special thing to form a bond sometimes with people i've never met um through film and that's a really special thing and hopefully that film is able to achieve that with a couple of people out there and with that being said that is how we made how to say goodbye please check it out if you haven't already um please like this video and comment and subscribe engage that if you wish because that way more people will will be able to, to to find this and find the film and hopefully get value out of both of them and i'll chat to you soon very soon actually yeah a lot of youtube videos to come i hope